All right, another check of your forecast, and we're going to be mainly cloudy throughout the course of the day. Could be seeing a few peaks of sunshine, though, so we're going to call it mostly cloudy. And we're going to hover around those mid to upper 70s for highs today because we're going to get that warm, moist air in place. But the catch to that is that cloud cover is going to limit some of that radiational heating, which won't be as limited as we head through the day Wednesday, even though we are going to start off with a few of those scattered thunderstorms. But then that clears out, and we're going to be partly cloudy throughout the course of Thursday through Saturday. We'll be mainly dry, but maybe one or two isolated showers could be eked out on Thursday. But it's Sunday into Monday we're going to be watching closely throughout the course of the week because we have chances of a few of those scattered thunderstorms, especially late Sunday into Monday. And that's along a frontal boundary. And hopefully we could get really good beneficial rain from that because the drought situation hasn't really improved that much, even though we got quite a bit of rainfall in Bell County throughout that tornado event of this past week. But anyways, we are seeing mainly cloudy skies along and west of the I-35 quarter, and we're starting to see those easterly winds get a bit of that southerly component as well. And as you zoom it out just a little bit, pretty much the same story across the Lone Star State. Much of central Texas seeing that cloud cover, but much of the panhandle as well as the big country starting to see some of that cloud cover as well. But that's mainly the upper levels where they're seeing that cloud cover, and that's because of that flow being in the opposite direction of the wind speed at the surface. So that's why it's in those upper levels of that atmosphere. And there you see it. Southerly components starting to come into the winds. Winds are now east-southeast. They were east, due east, earlier this morning, but we've added that southerly component now. Still a good clip at 14 miles an hour, and I think we're going to be around 10 to 20 for the day, but we're looking at temperatures right now in those mid-50s under those mainly clear skies, but some areas have dropped to those lower 50s, such as Gatesville at 54. Same story for Limpasas, and we're now dropped to the low to mid-50s in the Brazos Valley as well. Bryan College Station checking in with 55. But as we head throughout the course of the afternoon, could be seeing a few of those isolated showers, especially where we have the most cloud cover and the most moisture in place. Atmosphere well capped, so we're not going to expect anything strong to come out of these storms, but it is still possible that we could be seeing one or two isolated showers or thunderstorms, especially east of I-35 and down toward the Brazos Valley. So for today, we're going to get to those mid-70s, maybe one or two isolated thunderstorms, especially later on in the afternoon through the evening and overnight hours. That's where we have the better chances at around 30%. They're going to be scattered in nature. Don't expect anything strong because again, that cap is going to pretty much shut anything down. But as a result of this, overall, I'd say a seven on the joint meter. So good day to be outside. It's just going to be a little bit windy and have to keep an eye up to the sky for a few of those scattered thunderstorms. Taisha.